Jesus Christ is the reconciliation. We come to you with the message of reconciliation. We come to you telling you that you don't have to continue on the broad road that leads to destruction. You don't have to continue to run towards hell. You can reject your sin, put your faith in Jesus Christ, and you will have eternal life through the power of the Holy Spirit. If indeed you are born again, Jesus Christ said, unless one is born again, one, one cannot see the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ made it possible for people to be born again by dying as a blood sacrifice to appease the wrath of God. Jesus Christ is the second person of the three person God who became a man over 2,000 years ago so that he could receive the punishment that sinners deserve for their sin so that he could be nailed to a cross, whipped, beaten, bloody, tortured for the evil things that sinners have committed, to appease the wrath of God, to bear the anger of God for sin so that you don't have to take that, so that you don't have to go to hell, so that you can repent and put your faith in Jesus Christ and be counted clean in the sight of God and be counted not guilty, pardoned for your sin, because Jesus Christ rose from death and he lives now to represent you. If you turn to him, if you turn to him in faith, he becomes your representative. So that you have a perfect one representing you, the imperfect people. We are all imperfect. We have all fallen short of the glory of God. We've all sinned. We all deserve hell. And the only way to escape the wrath of God in hell is through Jesus Christ, trusting in him. Putting your faith in heaven instead of yourself and your good works. Your good works can't save you. Your good works cannot save you. The good things you do can run away the bad to get you into heaven? No! All sin is rebellion against God. We've all committed it. We deserve judgment for that. And the only way to escape the judgment is through Jesus Christ. The only way, the only mediator. That's why Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. No one can have a relationship with God unless it's through the mediator, Jesus Christ. He said, come to me, all you who are weary and heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. People are looking for rest, they're looking for peace, they're looking for satisfaction, happiness in the things of this world that are passing away. But your life is so short. Don't chase the things of this world that are passing away. Chase eternal life. Seek eternal life by dying to your sinful pleasures. Dying to your fleshly desires and deciding to deny yourself so that you can have eternal life. Denying yourself because you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. God bless, man. God will. We come bearing good news today. We come to tell you that Jesus Christ is King. We come to tell you that Jesus Christ is the Savior. We come to tell you that you don't have to continue to go to you don't have to continue to run towards hell. You don't have to continue to live in rebellion against God. Out here today, we are displaying what happens to preborn children when people rebel against God. We are displaying the little human beings who are torn limb from limb, who are massacred inside killing centers in your city in your country in your nation we're showing you the practical outworking of rebellion against God we're showing you the victims of a holocaust that you're living in today thousands per day is the average murdered children murdered in the womb in your in your nation because of people's rebellion against God because of the re rejection of Jesus Christ. So we got to wake people up and say, Hey, we can't continue to murder these children. We can't continue to discriminate against these children. God created every human being in His image. God made us like Himself. 
That's why you have value. That's why you have worth. God wants you to love every human being. He doesn't want you to discriminate based on age. But people are doing just that because they don't love God. They don't want to worship God. They don't want to obey God's command to love their neighbor as themselves. They just want to do what they want. They just want to, they just want to have sex without responsibility. And so Why? They can't they save you. Only Jesus Christ can save you. They don't you. want to be responsible parents. They don't want to love their children. And we're saying you need to love your children. You need to love these babies by being a voice for them. Stand up for their rights because they can't stand up for their own rights. Be a voice for the voiceless. Don't continue to live at peace with the genocide. Come the crowds. Obey God and his masses. commands. Out of faith in Jesus Christ. True faith that will save you from hell is a faith that results in obedience to God. True faith that saves you is a faith that is a living faith. Not just not just going to church on Sunday, not just listening to a sermon once a week, not just singing songs inside a church building, but a living faith, an active faith. Obedience to God on a daily basis. That's what God wants from you. It is time to turn away from your sin, my friends. It's time to turn away from rebellion against God. It's time to turn to Jesus Christ and have turn to the true life. Jesus Christ said that He's the life. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus Christ can save Jesus Christ you. is the mediator. He's the only one through whom you can have a relationship with God. So we're telling you good news today. We're telling you that even though we've all rebelled against God, even though we all deserve hell, God in His mercy and grace has made a way for sinners to be reconciled to Himself. Jesus Christ, He died a painful, bloody death for sinners to receive the wrath of God. God the Father sent Him into the world to become a man so He could punish Him for the evil things that sinners have committed. Yes. So, that, so, that, so that sinners don't have to remain condemned to the hellfire that they deserve. So that sinners can escape the hellfire that they deserve for their rebellion against God. Jesus Christ came to rescue them from that. God the Father sent him into the world so that he could do that. So he could crush his son. So he could punish Jesus for the evil things that sinners have committed against God. But Jesus Christ did not only die as a blood sacrifice to appease God's wrath, He also rose from death. Now Jesus lives. He defeated death. Now Jesus Christ reigns victorious in heaven as a representative, a representative on behalf of all those who trust in Him. This is what we do to children every single day. Jesus to be an advocate who intercedes on behalf of those who trust in Him. Who right intercedes here. before God the Father. A righteous representative for those who cannot come to God on their own. Imperfect people who cannot have a relationship with perfect God unless they have the perfect mediator to be in a go-between bet between them and God. Hail a mediator, Jesus Christ, is the go-between. The God-man who bridges the gap These are the victims of the abortion God holocaust and right here. Humans. That's what Jesus Christ Seven does. Children every single day. Every single he day. He died for sinners to right receive here. the punishment that they deserve. Jesus Christ died for sinners and took the punishment that they deserve. And then he rose from death to be a representative on their behalf. An advocate, a great high priest. Who can intercede before God the Father on your behalf so that you can have eternal life, eternal peace from God, so that you won't go to the hellfire that you deserve, so that you won't receive the punishment that you deserve for your sin. You need to be warned about that today. You need to be warned about the judgment of God. You need to be warned that if you continue in a lifestyle of rejection of Jesus Christ, there is no salvation for you. There is no eternal life for you. It will be hellfire. So you need to be warned about that. Jesus Christ warned people about hell. He said, don't fear those who can kill the body, but fear the one who can destroy both body and soul in hell. Nobody else can save you from that. Only the one who died 
for sinners, only the one who rose from death, to plead their righteous representative. I'm telling you right now, your good works cannot save you. I'm telling you right now, it doesn't matter how many good things you do, it will never get you into heaven if you're trusting in your good works. You need to put your faith in Jesus Christ. Only, only putting your faith in Him can save you. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. Don't reject that. Don't hold on to your selfishness. Don't continue to live for yourself. Don't think that you can be good enough to get into heaven through your good works. Put your faith in Jesus Christ, and then you'll have eternal life. Because He's the mediator. He's the one who changed the will, sent by God the Father, into the world. The second person of the triune God, who was sent into the world for a purpose. Jesus Christ came into the world to die for sinners, to take the penalty for sin, to be punished by God the Father, so that sinners don't have to be condemned to the hellfire that they deserve, so that sinners don't have to receive the punishment of hell if they repent and put their faith in the Savior Jesus Christ. He did not remain dead. He rose from death. And he now lives to be a righteous representative on behalf of all those who put their faith in Him, trusting in Him, and displaying their trust in Him by obeying Him. Showing that they have true faith in Him by living a lifestyle of obedience. Jesus Christ, He said, if you love me, you will keep my Jesus commandments. Christ. He can save you, show you that you sins. truly know Jesus Christ. Wear glasses. You show that you truly know Jesus Christ. Let the rabbits wear glasses. Christ, Let, the rabbits yeah. wear glasses. Let the rabbits wear Sorry, back glasses. Off. Back off. <laughs> you know that you truly love Jesus Christ when you see that you have a, a lifestyle of obedience to Him. That means that you don't continue in your pornography addiction. You gotta cut that off. You gotta cut that out. You gotta, sh you, you gotta show that you love Jesus Christ by obeying Him. If, if you truly have the Holy Spirit living inside of you, if you truly have saving faith that will gain you entrance into heaven, it is a faith that, re that will result in a transformed lifestyle in which you don't continue to watch pornography, in which you don't continue in sexual immorality, in which you don't continue to support baby murder. There's so much sexual morality going on. There are so many people who are going to go to hell because they refuse to stop fornicating. Because they refuse to stop watching pornography. Because they refuse to acknowledge that they murdered their baby. Because they refuse to give up their lust and their pride and their greed and their selfishness. Because they wanted to live for themselves. They remain separated oh, from God. Jesus Christ can save God. you. So wash away your sins. One day you're going to stand before God and give an account for your life. And you go to heaven or hell. God punishes sin. And those who rebel against Jesus Christ, the Savior, those who rebel against God, they will be the children every single day in our culture. Every day. They will receive the justice of God. They will be punished for their sin. And I have to warn you today, I have to let you know that God will not tolerate your sin forever. He will not tolerate your pornography forever. He will not continue, he will not tolerate your fornication forever. So we do to children every single day in our culture. Today is the day to repent. Right now is your chance to repent. So the abortion holocaust. You have a second chance tomorrow. You don't know if you have a second chance later tonight. You can die today. You can die today and it will be too late. You cannot show out. Children are being butchered to death. The children need help. Yes, it matters what Jesus Christ says. Jesus Christ can save you from your sins. I am warning you, the Bible says that the sexually immoral will not inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible says that murderers will not inherit the kingdom of God. There are so many people who have murdered their children through abortion and they need to understand that they have to acknowledge to God that they have murdered a baby. They need to acknowledge to God that they have murdered their child. They need to ask God to, to forgive them That's because of what Jesus Christ has done. Christ wrestling is bad. The only way you can have forgiveness is Jesus Christ can save you. You can wash all your sins like you washed mine away. I used to watch this trash and God saved me. That's how you can be forgiven of your porn addiction. That's how you can be forgiven for your fornication. That's how you can be forgiven 
for your for sinful, selfish, greedy <coughs> lifestyle. Appreciate ya. There's only one way to be forgiven. Forgiveness of sin through the shedding of blood. God demands the shedding of blood for the forgiveness of sin, and Jesus Christ satisfied that demand. Look what we do to children every single day. This says the abortion holocaust right here. This says the abortion holocaust right here. So many people out here tonight. So many people. So that you will have to receive the punishment of hell if you reject your sin and decide to live in obedience to him because of faith in him. Because of true faith. A lot of markers out here. So many people have a big faith. It's just head knowledge. But it doesn't change the lifestyle. But true saving faith that will get you into into the heaven is a faith that is lived out every day. A faith that results in a changed lifestyle. So that you don't continue in fornication. So that you don't continue in fornication. So that you don't continue in baby murder. So that you stand up for God's law and God's righteousness. So that you stop ignoring the genocide in your nation. Thousands of babies are murdered per day as the average in your country because people love fornication. Because they love sexual immorality. Because men want to treat women like sex objects and use them and abuse them and then drive them to plant bread hut to put you their baby to death. It's time to repent of that, folks. It's time to turn to Jesus Christ and have eternal life. It's time to repent of all the wickedness. Every one of us has sinned against God and we all need to repent. So we all people. need to turn to Jesus Christ. So we have been changed by the power of the Holy Spirit. We've been born again. So we come and tell you good news today. We come and tell you how to be reconciled to God. We come and tell you that Jesus Christ is King. And we warn you about the hellfire that will consume you forever and ever if you do not turn to Jesus Christ. You need to understand that you will experience never-ending torment, burning in flames of fire, if you do not repent and put your faith in Jesus Christ. I am telling you good news today. Would you like a Snickers? But it's only good news if you repent. It's only good news if you decide to repent. to repent. Jesus Christ can save you. I see your YouTube video. Jesus Christ can save you. What's the YouTube video called? It's only good news if you decide that's to one. Ask God, God is my judge. Yeah, my judge. Yeah, I watch it's only good that's news. That's not mine. I, did you? Were you here to watch wrestling? This is this is very wicked. WWE is very it's vile. Satan's already lost. Satan has already lost. Don't follow the devil. You're just gonna end up in hell because you're not following the Lord. We're in Rosemont. Don't say hell, Satan, because he's already lost. This is uh, All State Arena. WWE. Hail King Jesus. Raw. Jesus Christ is the king and he's coming back to judge every one of us.